Hey there everyone, uh, back at it again with another one of these guides, and today it's Isui. So, Isui, everyone's like, I, I love maids. I like the quiet, small maid. She throws stuff. She puts pencils on the ground. How do I play her? Well, here's, here's what the guide's for. Alright, 5A. She slaps you. It's a high. Not a high, excuse me. You know, it's 5A that hits there, she slaps. Okay, she slaps. Alright, 5B. It actually goes a little bit further than you think. As you can see, like, it's pretty deceptive. It actually moves her forward a little bit as she does this. So it's pretty good for, like, uh, continuing block strings. Like that. Then you have 5C. The funny chair. It hits twice if you don't charge. So, 1, 2, 3. It beats low shield. So you know how they go into the failed state immediately. <clears throat> so you get to move. And it crushes that. However, you have charge 5C. Hits. It's three times, but it goes really far if you charge it. How far? I'm gonna backdash, and it still barely hits her. So from this range, it's a really good move to like force your way in, beat low shields, because it also remember uh, in the December patch, December patch no, in the August patch, low shields lose now to charge uh, standing B and C charge normals and also overheads and throws. But if you're a Sui player. You use that to beat low shields, people low shielding on your pressure. Then you have, you have 4C, you have, sorry, you have 4B, watering can. She like, kind of like, throws some water at you. This used to take meter in current code, but doesn't anymore. However, if you make them block the whole thing, the last part is unblockable. That's part you saw there where all the water comes out? Yeah. She can't block that, she has to, she has to shield that. However, if you're far enough away, they don't get the shield. It's just there. So as you can see, she can shield it. But if you're if you're savvy enough, you can do something cute like that to like A follow-ups. B C follow-ups you still have to worry about, and B follow-ups you have to worry about. But if you know that they don't have enough moon drive for moon gauge for B C follow-up, you just do something like this. There you go. Uh, then you also have sixty. Well, you need to hear the sound because it's pretty it's pretty good. When she's not blocking. You can mash it hits three times if you mash, so you, you press C C C, you get the rest of it. It combos in the corner. As you saw you see there, so it's a good way to like end your strings if you're if you run out of normal so you use. This is the most important thing about this character. That noise alone. They actually buffed it to make it so that it makes that sound uh, a patch spell. So say thank you to Kimone, everybody. Say thank you, Kimone. All right. Other normals. 2A. 2A hits low. 2B. Hits further than 2A. She actually lunges a little, a little bit further than you would think. So it's another one of those forward-moving normals that puts her Puts her forward, but she retracts herself afterwards. And then you have PC. Sweep. Fast sweep. Hits pretty far. Use it to confirm stuff afterwards. Um, hmm. I don't think I'm missing anything else in the crouching normals. Oh, 3C. 3C is really strong in which, you know, it's an anti-air tool. It goes pretty high, and you can see it goes pretty far in front of her. So you can get a launcher, you get your air punish, air combo off of that. Special rooms. 56, ladles. 56A, pokes you with her ladle real quick. 56B, same thing. 56C, gives you a launcher at the end. However, the A and the B versions also give you a launcher, but you have to press a button again after. So you do 56A, any button, you get a launcher. So you can do a small combo like... If you're fast enough, I guess. Like that. Same thing with 2 through 6B. We'll get a combo afterwards. Only if you press a button again. So 2 through 6B, B. 2 through 6A, A. 2 through 6C, I'm pressing nothing, and she just launches automatically. Then you have 6, 2, 3, A, B, and C. 6, 2, 3, A is dust. 6, 2, 3, B is up dust. You can actually have two dust on the screen at the same time. I think we try to do three, one of them disappears after a little bit. So, 
A. 623A. Hits once. Otherwise, it just floats there as like a think of it like a mini Aegis Reflector. Kinda. A little bit. And that also protects your head up there too. So if they try to air dash at you while you do it, they get hit, you get a small combo. And then 623C is the EX dust that you see a lot. That people use for like block strings. So a lot of people will do something. Well, when they have meter, they'll do it. And they'll run some sort of pressure where it's like they air dash over you, they throw you in between, they jump up and watch you like try to block them. So well, I think if I can get this timing correct. Ah. There is a way to do it to make them to make it so like they get pulled. Yeah, like they get pushed back to you at the last second and you're like, you'll do air dash jump A or just throw them right after. Then you have 2-2, two 2-2A, two. Two two Benta, 2-2B, two Benta that goes across the other side of the screen. It doesn't detonate immediately when you do it, it has to materialize first before it goes off, so. And if you do 2-2A, two two you still get to keep these two, but it does disappear after the small one. However, you can have quite a number of ventos on the screen, which is pretty funny. And then 2 c is... Big K. Meh. Hasty. That kind of just sits there if you don't use it in a combo. It's like a big landmine that they have to shield. And then you have... Pottery. It's called... I forget why... what we used to call it before, I think it was like Stuffu. S S uh, T U F F U stuff -u, but I don't know why we called it that. We just said it like that. But it's just pottery. So when you do 24A, she has a set number of things she can throw at you. There's a hanger. There's a silver tray. There's a book. There's a lamp. There's two different kind of vases or vases, however you want to say it. There's one that goes up, and there's one that's that one, that blue one that goes in that small uh, arc, as you can see. So all if you hold no direction, you will get a random item when you do 24A. However, you can hold the direction while you do the move in order to get a specific item most of the time. So if you hold forward when you do 24A, you do 24A forward, you will always get book. And book is really good for that space that people want to run at you. If they try to uh, ground dash at you, you can do 24A hold six, so forward. And you'll always throw a book. I think the same with 24B? Yeah. 24B will always give you a book, but 24B always gives you a different item as well. 24B will always give you two items. See? Two items. Two items. Two items. But if you hold forward 24B, you always get book and silver tray. So you can see how that's good. It covers two different objects on the ground. But if 24A forward, hold six, always gives you just book. I believe 24. 24A down, hold down when you do 24A, always gives you that boss. Which is good for stopping people from like jumping at you, air dashing at you. Same thing with 24B down. 24B down will always give you the blue boss with the lamp. So you cover two different types of approach, the small air dash and the people who like to run at you from the ground there. And then 214A back. Always gives you a horizontal moving projectile. So it'll either be hangers, silver trays, or just a regular lamps. But they have to not be on the screen. So if you do it and you wait, it's gone. You will always you should always get a forward moving projectile. If I can input stuff. Those are the ones that I know of that are consistent. Everything else is at random for the most part. So you keep just doing 214A, B, or C. You always just get different items on the screen. Which is very strong because it stops people from approaching you. This is her one of her best tools besides Bento. So you can do something like this, set up Bentos, and just kind of just throw stuff and see how they approach you afterwards. <clears throat> 214C, however, throws out a whole bunch of items all at once. So it covers every single approach, and if they get hit by any of these, they're knocked down and they cannot get up. They cannot tech up immediately. So you can do something like... So your combo can have something like... And that's a knockdown. And you can just push him to the corner. 
So again, you could do something like... Like that. So super helpful. So if you don't want to do any of the uh, super... If you think Hisui has hard combos and you just want to knock someone down, use this at the end for the meter. <clears throat> and jump normals. I didn't cover those because I'm not good at this. Jump A. If you notice, her jump A hits at the very specific angle that a lot of characters crouch at when you air dash. So, this is really strong for keeping people honest about like, hey, you better be, you better react to my air dash. Which is kind of hard to react to because she's pretty fast. So, air dash jump A is pretty good. Combo filler. Then you have air dash jump B. She hits you with a book. It, however, hits at this weird angle in the air. Like a 45, 55 degree upwards angle. If I can show it on the screen. Oh, I did it! I'm good at this. So, the hitbox is somewhere down here around her, like me. But then it also hits, like, at this weird 45 degree upwards angle around here as well. There's also a second part to this. So when you jump, when you press B in the air, you can press down in B. And you'll get that part where she slams the book in your face. She's like, read a book. However, that second part is not a hot overhead. Yeah, you can block that crouching, actually. That part where she swings down, she you can block that crouching. However, that's scary to do because if you stay crouching, then you get hit by, like, her jump A. It's like, dude. Well, that's cross shot. You get hit by the table, which is another air move that's really strong for the table. Which you can charge, by the way. So, charge MC. This is one of those things that uh, most of the characters in the game have. A chargeable jump, charge C normal. It flashes, it hits really far in front of her. If it clicks, she bounces up, and you're like, oh, cool. I got a combo. Uh, <clears throat> she then also has cross drop. Down in the air you do down and C, she cross drops. This is really good for beating people who like to throw, or people who like to do wake up like 2A. You just run up to the- you throw them a wake up, you run into them, it hits them for pressing like 2A, 2C, trying to throw you. So you can do something like this. You can do throw, press bento, cross chop if they think throw's coming, they get hit by bento. In the air, she can also do her 2-3-6 series, I also missed that. So she can do label in the air. It will not pop you up if um, you don't get a follow up on it, but you get the combo on the ground. It's like a no with like a normal if you're fast enough or close enough. See? Same thing with two three six B. Two three six C gives you the pop up after the ex hits. Doesn't give you the pop up anymore. Oh, I'm thinking of current code. Excuse me. And the arrow bring them all the way down, so you can do something like. And then, if you, if you notice, it is also a mid, so you do not have to stand up to block this. If you if you want to learn how to fight history, this is a mid. She set to block all. You don't have to stand up. So that's good information. And then uh, her moon skills, 6 BC. When the game first came out, this was giving everybody problems because it moves forward really fast. When you moon drive, it's multiple times. Uh, it covers a good bit of distance and gives you a combo. So 6 BC is good if you think people are trying to, like, uh, run away after you attack a throw. They try to backdash, this hits them. If you moon drive and they backdash away, or they jump, that hits them. Then you have 3 BC, so down forward BC. It's dust. It kind of just travels along the air in that weird arc that you see. It goes up, and it goes down. So you activate moon drive, this clashes, they get hit by dust, and you're like, Wee, I'm nice. But then you have 2 BC, where she puts out a bento. But it has the class frame when you're in Moon Drive. Only when you're in Moon Drive. So it's fast. Back to Moon Drive. Put out a Bento. However, in December, they gave her this. You hold down B plus C, and you will get two Bentos at the same time. So that's a really nice buff that she got. Because she could do two Bentos with one Bento, another Bento, like we talked about earlier. Now, for her other Moon skill, Back BC. So, she throws three items instead of the, the one or the two, depending on which other strength you use. So remember, it's one for A, throws one, one for B, throws two, and back B plus C will throw three. 
but it also uses moon gauge, so you have to remember. If you want to try, if you want to moon drive, you need half of your moon gauge, so you have to be careful about how often you use this. But if you're good at zoning people with this and this, you can set up a minefield and be able to charge by holding down A plus B. So you can always have access to do this, do this, and then moon drive if you have to. And then Hisui's Arc Drive, 236 B plus C, is what you see in a lot of combos. So if you ever activate heat or you have three bars, use it as like your combo tool when you're doing. And it gives you a knockdown that they cannot get up from immediately and you get a mix up. So I would say Hisui's game plan normally is set up bentos to make it hard for the opponent to approach and then throw pottery and see how they approach back. And then afterwards you travel across the screen with charge 5C. 236 to try to keep them in place, or your big jump C normal, as you can see there. Alright, so that's it for Hisui, and hopefully I covered enough. If there's still questions, you know, just put them in comments, don't be scared. But that'll do it for me, and then I'll see you on the next one. Take care.